The following program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters. Welcome to the ring and all other sports. My name is Leo Connors with my tag team partner, Derek Dukes. Derek, I'm too excited, you, buddy. Too excited, I, man. I, 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 I'm too is, excited. This is unbelievable. Too excited, bro. We're so, so excited. Finally, Sasha Banks wins the WWE Women's title. Yes. I, all of New England is, oh, I can imagine, come on. as proud as we are. It's too bad they didn't have like a, a group showing of people that popped when she yeah. won that title, man. You know, if I would have known she was going to win it, we could have taped ourselves. Doing, you know <laughs> what I mean? And like, I know. Because it I know. was unbelievable. I had tears in my oh, eyes. Oh, man. Them. And I've never met her. Okay? I've watched her, you know what I mean, grow as a wrestler from, you know, just, you know, chaotic and other independents around right. here. And just to see her win that title was just incredible. You know, it was just, it, it was so beautiful the way they did it and the way they made her, they built her up, built her up, and then boom, she, you know, she beats Ashley for the title. I'm sorry, Charlotte. Yeah. I Charlotte. apologize, yeah. Charlotte, yeah. for the title. It was just, it was it, pure just the, the win was just beautiful. A great match, too. Yep. I mean, honestly, great match. Match of the night. And there were some good matches that night, too. But that was a really great opening. Was. That was a great you, opening. You know what I mean? Yes. Uh, I, I'm, like I said, you know, congratulations, Sasha. Proud uh, of you, girl. Hope you hold that title for a long time. And all of New England's proud of you. And I know all your friends that I have on Facebook, that mutual mm. friends, <laughs> were all so excited. Guys like former guest Rich Palladino, you know how excited oh, good. he is. Good, he worked and with her. That's what I mean. Yeah, you know, and a lot, a lot of people. Remember, he told us the story too of how they, like, they said, "Ah, uh, you, Sasha, whatever you need." Remember, they said you're, you're going to yep. work with Rich for a while, and it's just, just amazing to see somebody grow like that. You know, as from a young kid, really in the business, just awesome. To, you know, the number one woman's wrestler in That's the world. That's just unbelievable, man. And, uh, hats off to Charlotte yep. passing the. You know, that was a great, great match. Charlotte's a great worker. Charlotte is a constant professional, just like all those NXT yes. woman wrestlers, women not that wrestlers. diva BS. Yep, that's right. I'm so glad we're done with that. Yeah. And uh, Charlotte and Becky and just all these girls who come up from NXT. I, me, myself, you know, like I, I'm a tag team guy. You know yep. that I love tag yep. teams. But real professional women's wrestling. Is what it's all about. Oh, and these absolutely. girls are outstanding, man. Absolutely. Outstanding. Absolutely. We're going to go over Raw real you know, yep. quick. Then we're going to go over SmackDown because we had the first week after the split, the brand split in the draft. I thought Raw was a great show. I thought it was a little better than SmackDown. Definitely. I really do. Um, SmackDown was all right. Don't yeah, it was, good. It, was it good. was good. it was good. But this Raw was unbelievable. And real quick, too, I, I, uh, I heard that it was Vince that ran the show. Oh, uh, Triple H. I heard it was Vince. Ooh. I just read it before I came here. Okay. And uh, it said that Vince McMahon was the guy that put together this show. So it really doesn't surprise me. I'm not saying the Triple H can't, but it don't surprise right. me the show was that good. You know what I mean? With, with right, Vince right. at the helm. Yep. You know? uh, we, had, uh, we had a couple of four ways, fatal four ways, to see, to have a final match mm -hmm. at the end to see who's going to be taken on. Um, to, oh, I'm sorry. The show started off with Mick. Um, no, yeah, with Mick and, St and Stephanie That's in the ring. That's correct, yep. And they were talking about how now that Roman blew it, Oof. Right? that was funny. I love that. Man. Oh, that was great. The crowd actually was cheering when they said that. They Dog. were cheering for heels. Dogged him. Oh, it was awesome. But saying how Seth had it all wrapped up, Roman ruined it, and now the world <laughs> title is going to be staying in SmackDown. Right. So they need a title, so they're going to have the WWE Universal title. Now, was it going to be universal world title? I would imagine it would be, but they didn't say the word world in it. Well, the whole thing with that is maybe they're going to go universal because, I mean, think about it for a minute. Let's just use, let's yeah. just say uh, Finn Balor. Yeah. Finn Balor's not a heavyweight. Right. He's not. No. Right. Not a heavyweight guy. Oh, I understand guy. that. Right. Seth Rollins is not a real heavyweight right. guy. Right. The, the days of the big jacked monsters going after the world heavyweight title that's over with, yeah, man. It is, it is over. So maybe the universal title, maybe when this, CN, this uh, CWC stuff is over with, yeah. maybe most of those guys, maybe they'll go after the universal title. Maybe, and you know, that would be like, a bad idea. You no, know, that would be wonderful because yeah. they bring guys up from NXT and so on and so forth where they're going to be yeah. and do this and do that. I, I think that I just what I'm, what I'm really afraid of is 
how crappy that belt's going to look. Yeah, I know. Well, let's hope they have they get a good design and they get a nice belt. Well, the you tag team I mean? belts look like garbage. I know. That I is the old belt. So I, I'm, I'm like the old style. All in all companies too. You know what I mean? Yes. Remember the old uh, NWA. Oh, no, the tag NWA team tag team ones were the best looking ones. The Southwest Championship yep. Heavyweight Title. These titles were beautiful. The original NWA TV title and the NWA. U.S. title yeah. are my two favorites oh, yeah, they're forever. Awesome. Belt. Rob always has them. He's selling them on. You know what I mean? I, I love the looks of those belts. The newer belts, I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm glad they brought back the original IC title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank God, because that was ugliest. Right, right. But they really brought back the status of that. Yeah. The world title, I don't, the tag team title, forget it. Yeah. Woman's title is just a smaller yeah, version of the world. I like it, though. I kind of, the woman's one, I do. I, I like how it's red. And I, I like do. how it pops. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's yes. like really pretty looking. But the world... Person, yeah. Yeah, WWE yeah, yeah. world title, I, I, that is just so plain. Yeah, right. I don't agree. I even like the old ones that Backlund used to have, the one that Superstar Graham destroyed. Yes. That was a cool yes. looking belt. Yep. But right, let's get back to Raw. So after that, they decided they're going to have uh, two four way, fatal four ways with the winners meeting at the end of the night to yep. see who's going to take on uh, Seth Rollins. Right. To win, you know, at SummerSlam for the Universal title. Which kills me. Who the hell are you? Right, no, I hear you. You know but, what I mean? Like, they, who they, are you? And see, that Seth never lost the title, though. He actually he did lose the title because he won it and then lost. Correct. It. That's I think that was their mentality. Plus, Stephanie has that relationship with Seth going back to the authority and all yep. that. So I kind of figured that was was going to happen. I really did. Yeah, but I also think it's terrible that they're setting the winner of that of that fatal full way to lose because. There's already a baby yep. as a champion on the other side. Right, right. Oh, I hear you, but you, you never know what's going to happen. No, you don't. But you never but, know. But I'm hoping yep. what I would write down yeah. in the room, I would say, look, we're going to put Finn over, and then all of a sudden he's going to stop making some gestures. Boom. Gallows and Anderson right. come out. Let's hope. They, have, they pull the things off. They got the shirts yeah. on, and they reunite the club. Because they still they put it right out there on his entrance. Balor, Balor Club. You saw it. Everybody saw it. Mm -hmm. But the first fatal four way match had uh, Rusev, Kevin Owens, Cesaro, and uh, first time on Raw, Finn, Finn Balor. Balor. Yes. And uh, in the end, Finn Balor went over. <sighs> wow. Great match. Um, great finish. Great finish. I'll tell you, uh, Rusev and Owens were working well together for a while. Yep. They really were. And it was funny that there's a few spots where. Rusev went for the pin, and Owens knocks him off and goes, you know, I'm right here. I'm right here. Like, you know, you have to try to pin him with these standing there. He's hand? definitely comic relief. Awesome, I love that man. kid. Awesome. But the second one had uh, Roman Reigns, Chris Jericho, Sami Zayn, and Sheamus. And that was a good match, too. Yep. It really was. Um, I'm still not sold on Sheamus recently. I, you know, I know he's big and he's strong. Yeah, he's but you know what? He's a up. He's, he's it's, it's old now. Right, right. So Roman Reigns goes over in that one. So now we set it up for the main event of the end of Raw. It's going to be Finn Balor versus Roman Reigns. Right. And most of the fans most likely are thinking, here we go again. Right. Roman Reigns. So but, we'll get to that. But I bit. can already tell you right now, man, yeah. there's no way. They're going to keep letting Roman jump ahead, and then they're going to squash him every time. That was awesome. Be well, because they're going to make an example out of right, him. Right, right, right. They're exactly. going to make an example. Yep. So now I want to bring up this, the, next, the next match had on. Nia Jax. Took oh. on a job, a girl named uh, Britt Baker. Oh, my God. How right you are, Derek. A few weeks ago, Derek was definitely saying way too early. Way too early. That was horrible. I'm so, and, I mean, I, I, I enjoy wrestling. I'm not, I try not to be too much of a critic. But you but know honestly what? Honestly and truthfully, she's not ready. Do you man. see the spots that were blown? Yeah, she's not ready. I mean. She's not. They, those two together, first of all, they worked terrible. Yeah. And with the, the job, what was the job girl's Britt, name again? Britt Baker. Okay. With her, kept missing spots, kept throwing off Naya, and the sp oh, it was just, it was a train wreck. They would have been better off putting her in the ring with someone like Alicia Fox or someone that's got, you know what I mean, a lot of TV experience yes. in front of a right. live crowd like that, like yep. a Raw. Agreed. I mean, obviously, when they wrestle, they're always in front of a live crowd. Yep. But I'm talking about a live TV Raw crowd. Correct. You know what I mean? Oh, um, yeah. But Nia Jax defeated her. There was a couple of squash matches this week. I kind of yeah. like that. I don't want to see him do it to every match on Raw. But it was nice to see these local guys get a shot. Yep. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Whether you know that, like, we'll get into the next guy in a minute. We had Neville taking on Curtis Axel in the next match. Yeah, it kind of made me angry. Yeah, I, I, I've, I've always liked Neville. Yep. I always have. Um, his ears are gigantic, though. I'll tell you, he does look like a hobbit. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? In a way, when you just look at his head. Right. But uh, that's just comic relief, guys. Don't get mad at me for that. Um, 
He's definitely a great wrestler. Yes. And uh, it, it was a good match. It, it really was a good match. Uh, Curtis Axel, again, he, he's just, ah, I don't know what to say about this poor guy, really, because he, he's talented. They backed he's him into talented. a corner. They backed him into a corner. Yeah. They're going to make up Paul Heyman guy, and with that terrible name. Yeah. And then I'm hearing through the grapevine, again, this is hearsay, yeah. that they're supposed to flip him to his father's gimmick. Should have did that a long time ago. A long time ago. You know what I mean? When he first disappeared before he probably came out as Curtis Axel, yes. he definitely should have came yeah. up as, you know, as Joe Henning. Right. That's what he should have been named. The Curtis Axel. That what a yeah. terrible. I mean, there's nothing wrong with Joe Henning, the name Joe Henning either. No. I mean, obviously because his father and his grandfather had that name, and it's a good, you know, yes. strong wrestling name That's with correct. the history. And there's nothing wrong with Joe. No. He's working for some old Joe. That's right. Um Next up, we had what we talked about a few minutes ago, Sasha Banks against Charlotte. Dude, that was just unbelievable match. Again. Both ways. Yeah. Yes. Again, though, these women are just, like, unbelievable. Taking and over, man. They really are. Yep, taking they over. They really are, because I'm telling you right now, I really, honestly, and truly believe it was the match of the night. Yep. Even more than the match that we're going to discuss in a little bit, Roman Reigns and Finn Balor, which right. is a good match, too. Um. After Sasha wins the title, they go into the ring with her. Oh, man. And they interviewed her and stuff. And she's like, I did it. That's right. I, that's, that's when I kind of got, oh, got misty-eyed. Dude, you know I was, I mean? yeah, forget it, man. I did. I got misty-eyed when she did that. When she won the title, I was really happy and excited. But when they talked to her in the ring and she's like, I did it. And you can see the look on her face. I was just like, my eyes are going to water you. My, Maria says, are you crying? I'm like, no, I well, could cry, though. I mean, of course you could because you're feeling for someone who is one of us right. from this side, yeah, you know? from this side. And yeah. I know, I'll tell you right now, as, as, uh, I bet you Brian Fury was ha had a few tears. Oh, I'm sure tears. he must have. He, actually, he, must he, actually have. he better have yeah. had a few tears. He, he must okay? have. You know and I mean? know Rich and his family were going crazy oh, for her. Had to have been, yeah. you know, I'm sure of that. I, I've sat next to um, Mercedes so many different times at different shows yeah. and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, sat with her... Uh, to my left, Jay Lethal to her left, and we actually sat there and have a conversation one yeah. time. So I've talked to her quite a few times, but it's just the fact of the matter of, not that I'm saying I'm going to call her on her cell phone and say, hey, no, congratulations. You, you know what? You. One of our girls, one yeah. of our people, yeah. one of our locals, yeah. won a world title on the main stage. Yeah. You know, let me ask it you a question. Awesome. You want to know what a, per, a concert professional she is, brother? Sure. Can you imagine being out back and Triple H or Stephanie or Vince walks up to you and says, oh, by the way, we're putting you over tonight. No, wait a minute. What did you just say? I'm on Raw right. in front of eight gazillion people all over the world, never mind the live, you know, right. 30,000, yeah. 35,000 people that are yeah. there, yep. and you're putting me over for the world title right now? Yeah. How, that goes to show you what a concert professional she is, because she, total stone face, oh, yeah. went out, did her job, yep. then lost it. Yeah. Yep. That's what you do, it was and amazing. that's a professional. It was a, amazing. A plus. Amazing. Yep. And like we said earlier, she hats off to Charlotte, really. Um, you know, you she know, did that, a great was, job, too. It was a great match. Great it job, really too. was a great match. Great job. Um, after that, we had another squash match. As we uh, had poor James Ellsworth. This was ridiculous. Took on Braun Strowman. That's ridiculous. Now, again, that maybe, right, these squash matches should be with more experience, guys, because both Nia Jax and Strowman aren't. No. You know what I mean? No, they're, they're not very experienced in the ring. And it, it showed. Oh, it, it showed. showed hugely, especially you know? with him by himself. Oh, and that poor kid, though, James Ellsworth. Oh. I'm, you know, I'm glad he got a shot. Hopefully he gets more money, bet more bookings. You know, hats off to him. You know what I mean? Whatever. But uh, it, just, it just looks sloppy and all yep. that. You know, that's enough really to be said about yep. that. Uh, after that, we had we went to the tag teams. I definitely yes. got excited as yes. Enzo and Cass came out, and they defeated the Shining Stars. Definitely, guys. Go visit Puerto Rico. It's the shining country <laughs> in the world. What a, That's what, a, what they tell you. What a you. terrible gimmick. It's funny, though. Right? <laughs> what a they, terrible gimmick. And they're so into it, though. You know what I mean? Mm. It's funny. You know, I bet your Carlito's looking at his brother and his cousin going, oh, yeah. well, at least they have a job. <laughs> yeah. And are saying, I'm glad that ain't me. Yeah, oh, my God. You know, you know why, why Carlito left? I wish it was me. I'm just saying, you know, right. I'm just saying what Carlito's probably right. saying. But uh, that was a good match. Enzo and Cass consistently uh, seem to be just oh, getting, getting more better, and getting more getting and more comfortable and getting better. Yep. Um, Enzo is just unbelievable on the microphone. <laughs> you know what I mean? He just is incredible. He really is. You know? How you doing? How you doing? You know? How you doing? But uh, that was a good match. Uh, I expect these guys to get a hold of the tag team title in the not-too-near-distant future. Definitely. You know? Um, but real quick, I want to go back. I told Maria when that Charlotte and, uh, and Sasha Banks match was going on, I said, one of these days, 
These girls are going to headline WrestleMania. Better they believe it. They keep it up. Better believe They're it. They're gonna. Better believe it. I really do believe that because mm -hmm. matches that each one of them has put on, even when Sasha's not in the ring and it's Charlotte against somebody else, yep. the matches have been phenomenal. Unbelievable. As long as you're keeping certain girls out of the ring, you'll continue to have oh, these great matches. Yes, please. You know what I mean? Yes. Um, but uh, So after that, we, we went to the main event, Finn Balor versus Roman Reigns. Went about 15 minutes. Yeah, but you know what killed me? Yeah. It killed me that Roman played the tough guy, strong guy through the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. When we both know that Balor could lay down and out-wrestle him. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And it was a good match. And, I, I, and Finn looked strong. He yep. definitely did. Um, he didn't look, you know, you know, obviously she would never be nervous. I shouldn't even, like, think of saying that because the guy's been, he's wrestled in front of 80,000 people and stuff. In, in the, the Tokyo Dome. Uh, you know what I mean? But, uh. It was a good match. Uh, Roman put him over, you know. He didn't have a choice. Yeah, he had no choice, right? But still, <laughs> it, it, was, it was really good. He's still being punished. I can, yeah, I oh, cannot yeah. wait for SummerSlam. I haven't been this excited for a pay-per-view since, well, like, WrestleMania. I know, because this is actually being built up to be yeah. huge. Yeah, it is going to be huge, because you know for a fact that Seth Rollins and Finn Balor <sighs> that night will steal that the show. That is going to be a fight. It's going to be unbelievable. Two great workers. Yeah, it's going it, to yes. be phenomenal. Yep. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping that Finn has, a, you know, they give him a shot with the title. Yep. If not, I think Seth's a good champion anyways. I really do. I, uh, I think Seth's one of the best workers in there. To me, remind, he does remind me of in the ring a Shawn Michaels type. I'm not saying he's there right, as good right, right. as yep. Shawn is yep. yet. Was, do you know what I yep. mean? But he's definitely on his way. Right. So, uh, so we're going to move over to SmackDown. Okay. Which was the next night, and, they're, you know, they're live. Um, right, right. And they opened the show up with a, uh, a battle royal. Wait a minute. I'm getting word here. Oh. What do we got? Wait a minute. What? Breaking news. Oh, wow. So the battle royal, I guess one half of a tag team was in that battle royal. I, actually, they both were in the battle royal. Right. But, the, but I, I think what you're thinking of, what the first that? guy that was eliminated, was probably eliminated for a reason. Whoa, hey. I just got, getting word again. Sorry, yeah. guys. Getting word. Getting word here. Wow. So, breaking news. Got it into the ear. Simon Gotch. Am I saying it right? Gotch? Gotch. Simon, Simon Gotch. Gotch. Yep. Yep. Just like Frank Gotch. The, the old great wrestler Frank one Gotch. One half of the Vaude Villains. Yes. Was pulled from the road for his fight with Sin Cara in Massachusetts. So now he lost twice. Technically. He lost twice. Better believe Sin it. Sin put the... Put a beating on him, and now they took him off the road. So they pulled him off the road for this fight. So now, if they, pu if they pulled him off the road for this fight, he must have been the one to start it. He must well, have, you know, no, you, you figure, know what I mean? Of course, you, you better know, believe it. Because that's why they're pulling him. But uh, he was the first one eliminated, too. Gee, that's kind of funny, huh? Yeah, Maybe that's is. why it was ringing in my yeah, ear. Yeah, But uh, the Battle Royal, it, it, they, uh, and the, they were going to have the, whoever entered, whoever won the yep. match was going to be entered into the, what, the, the, a four-way? A four-way. A four-way. Yep. Uh, no, six way. Almost. Oh, uh, that's right. Because yeah, yeah, it was a six way. Because right. it was already uh, Ziggler, Cena, Wyatt, Corbin, and in, in our Styles were already going to be in the match. They Correct. needed to add one. More. They needed to add one. Right. So we're going to just go through real quick. I'll tell you who's in the battle royal. We had Sin Cara, Kalisto, Simon Gotch, Aiden English, Kane, the Usos, Fandango, Tyler Breeze, Don Alberto Del Rio. Apollo Crews, Mojo Raleigh, Zack Ryder, and the Ascension, Connor and Victor. That's a lot of people, huh? Yeah. And in the final three, it ended up, which really surprised me, that Ryder was in the final I, three. As you, again. Yep. Again. Uh, along with Kane and Apollo Crews. Right. And it looked like Kane had won. Yeah, well, actually, it looked like the way they were going to finish it kind of looked like that uh, Long Island Ice Tea, whatever the hell they call yeah, him. Yeah. Looks like he was going to go for the finish. Yeah, he was going for the I mean, finish. he was and the, Kane. Then Kane got him out. And then, and all then the, just before boom. Kane could even turn around, Apollo had him tossed out, which was nice because we were talking about it before the other day. Remember I told you, like, some people on Facebook were saying things like, he's boring, blah, blah, blah. He's not boring. He's not boring. No. He's a very exciting wrestler. He is. You know, uh, I, I expect them big things from him down the line in yep. the next few years. I really do. Definitely. Because he was red hot on the independence mm -hmm. as a, a, two, a two nation. Yes. A H T U yeah. nation. Yep. And uh, he was red hot, man. Everybody wanted to book him. He right. was wrestling everywhere. But uh, after that, we had uh, Becky Lynch defeated oh, Natalia. Oh, my God. Uh, with her, her submission move to disarm her. All I know is, is I think my opinion. Yeah. Um, I think Natalia's getting worse. 
it's it's ridiculous. She though. is getting worse. I mean, every time you see, she's blowing spots you again. You think she's just her age is catching up with her? You think maybe she's you know nursing an injury and just trying to get through I without mean, telling anybody? Yes and no, but I also think that I don't know. I don't know if she's not following a script in her own head. Um, but her moves are off. Her selling is terrible, and I got to go back to the selling because when you see Becky put a, a hold on and she's not selling it, right? That's tech. That's like oh, that's like first grade textbook yeah, when it yeah. comes to professional right. wrestling. Right. Sell it. Yeah, you have to learn how to sell. Bump, make, bumping and selling is pretty much the first it, thing. It's they exactly show you, right? what it is, of course. Right. And she's not selling anything, and her facial expressions are terrible, and her, and she's missing spots, and her moves. Are, oh man, she's just she's slipping. Well, and, and Becky. Is is pretty good in the ring. She's, yes, she really is. Yep. And, and I expected a better match to be like you said. Oh, that's I what really I said. Did. I expected a way better match. But uh, so Becky goes over. She defeats Natalia. Next up, we had a uh, promo with Dolph Ziggler, which I kind of like this promo. How he was saying how uh, you know, he keeps getting up to that the, the glass ceiling. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And uh, and how he he's right there all the time, and then something happens yep. and he drops down. But yep. uh, I have a feeling uh. They got some big things with the SmackDown brand for Dolph. We'll see. I hope because, honestly, the way they've been using him, I really do believe he's better than the way they've been using him. Dolph's a great worker. Yep. You know? Mm -hmm. And and kids like him. Seriously. Dudes don't mind him. Nope. And the chicks love him. Yep. You know what I mean? So he's got all three things for fans to, Mm -hmm. you know, for all fans to get around and, and support, you know? So let's hope Dolph keeps getting a good push. Next up, we had the weirdest promo I've seen in a long time. Alexa Bliss is out there talking. Oh, God. And Naomi comes in. Carmella comes in. Naomi says one thing. Carmella says one thing. And then even Marie comes in and just stands there. Well, like, like, a, like the porn star she is. Yeah. yeah. She is hot, though. I know I say it every time, but yeah, she but you really know what? is. Though. You can be as hot as you want. Oh, yeah. No, no. When I you, hear you. When you're down in NXT and you, every match you have, you're, you're putting people in the hospital. Yeah. I mean, people should really stop and think that, what the hell am I doing having this 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 girl, this person, who is going to injure every person you get to the ring with. That's why they really haven't been using her much at all, obviously, because she's, she's then just... Then frickin' release her. Get out. rid of her. I Paul, hate you. can I you hate hear you. me, Paul? Get rid of her. Yeah. Get rid of the porn star, buddy. Yeah, because, yeah. I mean, honestly, like Derek said, you know, yeah, she's on TV, so of course you look, and she's pretty and all that, but I honestly never want to see her in the ring. When I went to that NXT oh. show, I was really excited that she wasn't on the right. show. I right. really was. I mean, yeah, don't get me you wrong. Know, big bombs, the, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the, the, no, the body, right, the whole right. gimmick. But you know what? You can only be eye candy for so much. Right. In for so long. Yeah. And, and since day one, she's done things like backwards. First, she lied about how to dance. She couldn't dance. Oh, that's they told right. her to become a blonde. She comes back as a redhead. redhead. I mean, she's totally gone against everything they've asked her to right. do. And she's still around. That's right, because they, they asked her to be... Bandango's yeah. partner. Yeah, can you dance? And she said, oh, yeah, yes. yeah, I got and this. And as soon as they walked out of the room, she's like, oh, no, I don't know how to dance. I mean, I understand about playing the role. Right. But if you're going to lie to play the role, yeah. you better bring that role up yeah. quick. Oh, that was just, like, insane. We, uh, we've talked about her in the past, how dumb she is. Yep. But, uh, so next up, we had uh, Ms. TV. And it <laughs> yeah. looked, just looked like it was going to be Ms. talking. And that uh, Randy Orton came out. Yep. You know, Miz was running his mouth about Randy, this and that. And, uh, well, Randy comes out. And he didn't actually say Randy, but he says, sounds like you're talking about me. Right. So uh, they go back and forth and all that, and Maurice gets involved with their mouth, and Orton challenges the Miz. And unfortunately for the Miz, Maurice decides she's going to get mad and accepts for right. him. And the Miz was like, what? Right. You know? Yeah, like, well, playing the role. Yeah. It, yep. was, it, was, a good, it was a pretty good segment. Yep. You know? Um, I hope, I hope that The Miz continues to get a little better again. Because at one point, I did enjoy watching him wrestle. When he had that run and he went into WrestleMania and had that match against Cena, he really had improved. But since then, it, it punches look slow. I don't know what it is. It mm. just didn't look as good. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, he's getting back to it again because, you know, he's going to be there. Right. You, might, you want to see some good matches. So uh, next up, we had Randy Orton defeats The Miz. Yep. In a match on non-title intercontinental title. Of course. Yeah. So now we do know that Randy Orton is going to be facing Brock Lesnar yes. right, at yep. SummerSlam. Yep. Now, we've known about it before because they had already, you know, actually, it was yep. all over the place being mm-hmm. said. But now they finally put it on the, right. on the show to tell us. Yep. You know what I mean? It's going to be a great match. Mm-hmm. Uh, Randy's one of the best workers out there. Uh, Brock, you know, is Brock. 
Right. He's probably going to become the UFC heavyweight champ again. I really do believe that. I think so. He can. If he, whoever he fights, if he gets him on the ground, how do you get up from him? No, it, he can just. I don't care if you if he just wins the rounds by laying on you. He still won the round. Giant they're blanket. Ex, they're not exciting fights. No, don't get me wrong. No. But for professional wrestling, it's good. Right. It's good if Brock does become the UFC heavyweight right. champ again. But uh, real quick, while we're just talking about the UFC, it's coming up soon, man. I think it's August thirtieth. Nate Diaz, yes. Conor McGregor yes. too. Yep. And I can't wait for Nate to choke out that little <laughs> leprechaun. Nothing against little people. Short guy, you know what I mean? See what I gotta deal with. See what I deal with. <laughs> but let me. I'm not that big either, guys. Don't worry about it. But uh, really though, I, I can't wait. It's it's you know Conor runs his mouth still, still running his mouth. When, yeah, yeah, you won the first round, and maybe you were winning the second round. Yeah, you bloodied up Nate. But in the end, what happened? Nate won. Within three seconds. Yep. That same night. Remember we talked about yep. this before? Holly Holm decided she wasn't going to tap. The ref had to pull her up because she was going to sleep. Yep. So, Conor McGregor, you're in big trouble because Nate's got a full camp this time. Love Diaz. I can't wait. That's my favorite yeah. fight. Nate used to be Nick. Yep. My favorite, but now yep. Nate fights all the time. Yep. Nick Hadley does. Nate's definitely my yep. favorite fighter in the definitely. UFC. Can't wait for that. You're more than welcome to come over. I get the. I always get when the Diaz brothers fight. I order. I don't care if nobody comes over. <laughs> I order it, it and pay for it myself. Nice. Ah. Uh, so then after that, we had a video package of one of our favorite tag teams that's coming up, and they're gonna make their debut next Tuesday night on SmackDown. Mm -hmm. American Alpha. Thank God. I can't wait to I see know. these guys Me in the ring. Too. I can't wait to see the crowd react to them. You know what I mean? I think, and and yeah. I was wrong about Kurt Ang the Kurt Angle gimmick, by the way. Yeah, but we're not sure about that yet, because he he could always come in he, after. He's still talking. Yeah, but they're bringing someone else back. Oh yes, you let tell the tell the world who's coming back, because I'm excited about this, because I've always thought this kid in ladder matches was the guy Crazy. that would pull out like you know Kofi Crazy. does these spots yep. and stuff yep. during the Rumble. Yep. This kid used to do the spots in ladder matches. Yep, in the um. The money in the bank matches at the beginning. It was always his spot. Yeah, tell him. Shelton Benjamin. Yes. Yes. So psyched. Yep. So psyched. Definitely. And with him coming back, if he's successful, you never know. Mm -hmm. They could always bring back Charlie. They could. <laughs> I don't think they will, but you know, but but the door has to be open a yeah. little bit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. if, you know, you could have a, actually, you could have Kurt Angle come back. Yes. And have the two teams fighting oh against God, each other. That would... That would be crazy. Wouldn't that man. be awesome? Yes. You know, put Angle as a special referee. Oh my and God! And then he makes his picks his choice. You know, unbelievable. That would be great. That, great. Maybe match. I should be right now. Great Jeez. matches. I'm telling you. Definitely. Definitely. You and I sit next to the road dog. Oh yeah, that'd be awesome. But uh, then they got a uh, Heath Slater comes out. Oh. Right. And uh, he so he kicked some unknown guy. I don't, they never even said his name. No, they some never. Some poor got, guy. They never got the announcement. Yeah, he just like got in the ring, and then he was gave gone. Gave him a boot. Yeah. So I uh, eat later, and then Shane comes out yep. and says, uh, give me your resume. <laughs> and, and of course, right, he says, he says, why? You got the network. All my work's on the network. <laughs> oh, it, was, it was really funny. Was I good. thought it was funny. I thought some people were saying shit on uh, social media yep. that was kind of silly, you know, yep. like, oh, how dumb was that? It was supposed to be that way. That's how it was supposed, supposed to be. It was supposed to be, to be right. dumb humor, and you got to take it at that. And if you took it the way I took it, right. it was funny. Right. It really was. Um, and then, then Rhino gets in the ring, and he, he never sees him, turns around and, Gah! Remember the last recorded ECW World Heavyweight Champion? Yes. The real ECW. Yes, the real one. Not yes. the garbage that yep. Vince brought back. Yep. All Heyman's. Yes. He's the last recorded ECW World Champion. I love seeing Rhino in the ring anyway. Yeah. He's awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, so then we had AJ Styles cuts a promo in the Outback. Yep. And that, you know, it was the same same AJ promo, you know. Um, the usual. The usual stuff. So then we had the main event. Now, we talked about it earlier, it was a fatal six-way. Yep. Six-way match that had uh, John Cena, Bray Wyatt, Baron Corbin, AJ Styles, Dolph Ziggler, and the guy that won the Battle Royal, Apollo Crews. Yep. And the winner faces Ambrose at SummerSlam for the <laughs> WWE World title. Ambrose? Yes. Yeah, because Ambrose is the champ. Yes, it's Ambrose. Correct, right on that side. See, I keep yeah. forgetting about no, I the split. I know, right. it's crazy. Right. So, yeah, the winner takes right. on Ambrose at SummerSlam. And honestly and truthfully, I was blown away at the winner. 
I wasn't, Off Ziggler. I wasn't expecting that. I, that's what I mean. I was blown away. I really expected Styles or Cena to come yeah. out of that. That's mm-hmm. what I really thought was going to yep. win. With maybe Bray Wyatt as a third choice. Yep. But Dolph, I was psyched. Yeah. I really, like I said earlier about him, I like Dolph. I always have. You know what I mean? Heel, baby face, don't matter. Yeah. It's a good workout. It was finally nice to see him get this win. They've been, you know, he'd win a match. Like they do with most guys. Lose, lose, yep. win, lose, yep. lose. I mean, he was losing to Baron Corbin. Come on. You know what Trying I mean? Trying to put the new kid over. Yeah. So uh, so now we got the two main events yep. at SummerSlam. Yep. Co-main events we got. Seth Rollins taking on Finn Balor for the WWE inaugural universal title. Not bad for That's a big word for Puerto Rico. I know, right? Uh, <laughs> and then we, also, we, we just said Dean Ambrose defending the WWE world title. Against Dolph Ziggler. Yep. That match should be good, too. I'm really looking forward to SummerSlam. Did they say who Sasha's fighting at SummerSlam yet? No, no right? No. I would imagine it's going to be Charlotte. I, would, I, I can't see them. Charlotte will definitely be able to say, where's my rematch? rematch so I would clause, definitely right. think it will be that. They haven't mentioned it, but I guarantee in a week or two they will. Yeah. They will mention it. Derek. Yes. Did you happen to catch the, uh, the Cruiserweight no. TV last night? Nope. Wow. So we're going to talk about that, the four matches, right? Mm-hmm. Then I'm gonna, we'll talk about the four matches that are going to come up, which will end the first round. Right. I also have the, um, the brackets for us. I'm, uh, guys, it's, I don't have it up for you guys to see. But, oh, okay. But, so I'll be able to tell you what, we'll be able to tell you mm-hmm. what is already set for the second round right. matches. Uh, last night, it started off with uh, England, representing England, I'm sorry, Zach Sabre Jr. taking on, uh, from Canada, Tyson Dukes. And that was a really good match. Um, Zack Sabre Jr., I've said it before, a lot of people think he's the greatest, the best wrestler in the world right now. He's definitely up there. And last night's match on TV Mm -hmm. really showcased that. Um, They went at it for about nine, ten minutes. It was a really, really good match. Um, Zack showed a lot of moves that I've never seen before. And I'll tell you right now, Daniel Bryan is phenomenal on commentary, too. Well, because he really... A lot of people are saying different. No, man. There were some, there were some things with, that happened in the match. And when he, you know, like how he did these moves, used his head and rolled. This. If, you, if, you see, if you haven't seen the match, make sure you go to the network and watch it because Zack Sabre Jr. is a guy you want to keep your eye mm-hmm. on, for sure. Tyson Dukes is a, a very experienced guy. The network? Guy. You mean the WWE network? Yeah, that four. Nine ninety nine. There you go. So we got that match out of the way. Zack Sabre Jr. defeats Tyson Dukes in about 10 minutes. Um, great match. Uh, with the Oompu Plata, and the thing was, we had the Oompu Plata on him. Right? I don't know if I'm saying it correctly, whatever, right? <laughs> but he started, like, Tyson was trying to reach the ropes. He pulled the fingers. Wet. Did you hear my fingers just crack? I did. And Imagine how his felt. Yeah, and they went all the way back, dude. I mean, it looked, oh. seriously, no, you can't fake stuff like that. No. You know what I mean? Yeah, you can do moves, and maybe they don't hurt as much, you know what I mean? Yeah. But pulling somebody's fingers all the way back, you can't fake that unless they're double-jointed. Right. You know? Yep. And what a great finish. Um, he was near the ropes. That's what the, that was the whole thing was. He was just about to grab one. He pulled his arm back, mm-hmm. and he pulled his fingers. He couldn't take it right. no more. And it really was a great match. Next up, representing the United States and the pride of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania right now, Drew Gulak took on, from India, Harv Shira okay. of the Bollywood Boys. His brother's going to mm-hmm. fight next week. But now that was a really good match, too. Um, Drew won it with, with the Dragon Sleeper. Mm-hmm. It was a great match. Drew is kind of a throwback to, like, the olden days in a way. Like, mm-hmm. when he, you know, just the way he stands in the ring and yep. stuff. You know, he's, he's, uh, he's, been a, he's been wrestling for about 10 years now. You know, he's been all over the place. Right. You know, Ring of Honor, mm-hmm. CZW, uh, Chikara. That's yeah. the first place I heard about Drew Gulak was Chikara. Oh. Yeah, back a, lot, a while ago when he first, you know what I mean? Like, I'd say probably six, seven years ago was the first time I heard the name Drew Gulak. Mm-hmm. Definitely good wrestler. He's about six foot two, six three. Uh, what's the weight on that? 225, right? Gotta be. Yeah, so he's about 210, 215. Mm-hmm. Good size guy. That, that Hob Shearer's pretty good, too. Seriously, he really is. Um, I, I expect to see more. Some of these guys are probably going to stick around in NXT when this Cruiserweight we'll see. series is over. We'll see. It was a really good match. but uh, So the next match, we had Tony Nese, representing the United States, yep. taking on another United States kid, Anthony Bennett. Uh, Tony Nese is a lot bigger 
now than he was, let's say, a year ago. Mm -hmm. Seriously, he's yep. really put on some mu and he packed on muscle. Okay. It's all muscle now, you know. He used to be a little thinner, you know, quicker, all that. Mm -hmm. He's still quick, don't get me wrong. But uh, that was a really good match. Anthony Bennett looked like he got hurt when Tony hit the 450 splash. I say he's still using the 450, right? Yeah. Okay. It, it looked like Bennett was a little shaken up. I don't know if his knee hit him in the head or something, but uh, it was a really good match. Tony Nese, uh, Daniel Bryan said on the air uh, that he really does think that Nice has a good chance of going all the way. Okay. But the one guy, the main event last night was Raul Mendoza. Mm -hmm. Representing Mexico, taking on Los Angeles, California's Brian Kendrick. Oh. Okay. Now, Daniel Bryan, as we know, and some of you guys out there might know, trained. Correct. With Daniel Bryan, you know, together. Kendrick. Kendrick. Yeah, yes. I'm sorry. Kendrick, Daniel Bryan, a few other guys at Shawn Michaels' uh, wrestling academy, trained by Rudy Boy Gonzalez. Shawn had a little bit into it, but it was Rudy Boy that pretty yep. much did all the in-ring. Yep. And, and Daniel Bryan didn't hold back. He told everybody that if he had to pick who he wants to win, he wants the Brian Kendrick to win. He also threw out there that they both had their very first match against each other. Oh, okay. You know, and I knew they had wrestled a lot mm -hmm. when they were you know, young. I didn't realize, though, it was the first match. Because usually guys get thrown in the ring for their first match with someone with more experience right. to help them. Yep. But those, these kids were so good that they knew they could wrestle against right. each other. You know? Yep. So Brian Kendrick ended up defeating Raul Mendoza. It was a really good match. Mendoza was really good. He's like 5'5", five, five, 195 pounds. So he's stocky for stocky a short kid. guy, you know? Mm -hmm. Brian Kendrick, 5'9", 157 pounds. He's really <laughs> thin now. He's lanky. He had the long hair. And, and honestly, he's looking a little older because yeah. he is getting older. You know, he's been wrestling 17, 18 years. Oh, my gosh, years. Yeah, he's been around a long time. Yeah. And a uh, great match. It looked like Mendoza was going to win it. And then uh, Brian Kendrick hit him with the bully choke. Did you ever see that? Yes. That thing's awesome, man. Mm -hmm. Seriously. That was a great, great move. Uh, came out of nowhere, too. Mm -hmm. He just took him over and then flipped back. It was just an incredible move. So Brian Kendrick moves on. So now we have 12 guys that have already moved on. Right. Next week's show, they got four matches. Obviously, they do it every week. Norm Dawes going to take on the other Bollywood boy. Yep. Gurb Shira. Jack Gallagher's taking on Fabian Aichner. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. If, it, if it's wrong, sorry. Sorry, Sue. guys. Uh, but then my, one of my favorites that I want to see, I'm not saying he's going to win it all, but I can't wait to see him in the ring on WWE. Rich Swan taking on Jason Lee. That match ought to be great. And next week's main event, got a little local flavor here. Here we go. Tag team partners. Oh, yes. Johnny Gargano. Yes. Mr. What, Johnny Wrestling. Johnny Wrestling. Taking on the Sicilian Psychopath. Tommaso Ciampa. Can't wait, man. That one I might have to watch. You gotta watch. Yeah. That's gonna be incredible. Yeah, that one I gotta. You know. Yep. Um, Two I, great workers. Oh, great, great workers. Now, Corey Graves said at the end of the show up when they were talking about the matches that were coming up next week, former tag team partners. So I'm hoping that this match doesn't split them. Right. Did he? Did he let the cat out of the bag? Because last time I seen them on NXT. They were talking to the heavyweight champ, yep. tag team champion. That's right. And told them they were coming right. to take their belts. Well, I, so I hope he didn't let the cat out of the bag. Cause, and I hope, or I just hope he's wrong. That's what I hope. Well, nobody was listening to him as usual. You, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, you know, but it's nice to see that they did something for Corey Graves. Because right. he was a good worker. Like, he really was. I mean, especially when he was in the independent. Listen, Sterling James I, Keenan. I'm no stranger to, especially being... <laughs> I'm notorious for, uh, you know, concussions. Right. This freaking kid, same exact thing. Lots Every of Every time. Yeah. He could work, too. I man. know, and every bump he took, take yeah. him out six weeks. Huh? Boom, bump, up, oh, out for six weeks. Yeah. When, when they found out that he couldn't wrestle in the ring anymore. Yeah. When he found that out, he was very depressed. You know what I mean? I heard, you know, I heard, oh, saw an interview with him. He was. And they kind of didn't tell him right away. They kind of, like, yeah. punked him in a way. You, yeah. know, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, Played a little joke on him and said, oh, I'm really sorry for you, blah, blah, blah. He thought he was just released and see you later. And then they said, nah, man. No, 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 gonna, no. Right. We're going to give you a chance. You know, um, we're not going to put you back in the ring. We're going to put yeah. you behind the counter. Yeah. And he was like, what? Yeah, we're going to put you behind the table. That was pretty put... awesome. Yeah, it was. Pretty awesome. But I think he deserves it. And, and, you know, like you were just joking around that no one's listening to him. He will get better. He's doing he, a good job. He will get better for sure. It's very strange. The way he ever see him, like, you know, he holds his hands I know. and stuff. I'm, it's kind of strange. He's, uh, I don't know. He's doing a good job, though. He, I think he's doing a good job, yeah. too. 
Uh, so next we're going to move on to uh, NXT. Ooh, whoa. Now, did, what? Uh, another one? Wait. Sorry, guys. Talks amongst yourselves. Press wrestling. Yeah. You okay. know, guys, I don't know what whoa. the heck's going on here. Really? Seriously. Uh, Leo, uh, thank you. I got uh -oh. breaking news. What's happening? As of this morning yep. slash this afternoon. Yeah. T last Tough Enough? Yeah. Remember ZZ? Yeah, I wish I could forget him, to be totally honest with you. Well, you're going to now. He got released. Yeah. I'm sorry, bud. I'm sorry. If, if you're a fan of ZZ, I'm sorry that, you know, your guy got released. No fan honestly of, and truthfully. There's no fan of ZZ. There shouldn't be. No, there's no fan of ZZ. ZZ. Honestly. So what I'm hearing is, by the way, yeah. ZZ had one match in NXT. Did he win? <sighs> yeah. He did. He, he did, but I'm really going to piss you off. No. Against one of our guys. Yes. Well, we won't even say his name because, did you hear? Yes. All right. We're gonna, I, I'm saving that. We won't, yes. I want to go through this NXT show so then we can talk because the last thing I want to talk about yes. is somebody got a new name. That's correct. So we'll use the terminology right now that yeah. Biff Busick, yes. our guy. Yeah. Um, so ZZ was in the ring with him. Yeah. And they're saying that the match was very stale. Yeah. Thank God for Biff. And it would have been worse. ZZ didn't have a finish. Yeah. He went into a quick roll up for one, two, three. <sighs> they said there was no stamina in the match. There was no nothing in the right. match at all. It was his only match and his only win. Yeah. And as of this afternoon, they released him. See you later, ZZ. Hey, at least you could say one thing. You, you lived your dream, I guess, if you really, if that was your dream. But I honestly and truly don't think you. <clears throat> when you were seven or eight years old, ten years old, no. said, I want to be a WWE. No. You wanted to be a TV star, dude. Correct. You, like Eva Marie. You just yep. wanted people to know who you are. You could have did this. Could have been a public access star. You could have been doing what Taz is doing. <laughs> That's pretty cool. The Taz show? That is. That is a good great show. show. That's great. Remember when he put over Flip? Yes. That was incredible. Yeah, he did 15 minutes on he, Flip. I, he just put somebody else over, and I can't remember. Not a local guy around here, but it was an independent wrestler. I don't, I can't remember who it was, but he just did it again. He put somebody else Taz over. Taz will shoot, man. He don't care. So uh, we got last night's NXT TV show. Not uh, too bad. No, I, I thought it was good. Good show. Uh, it opened up with uh, Nakamura, Shinsuke Nakamura. Wow. Defeated Blake. Splitville. Yeah, Splitville. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was a good match. Uh, Shinsuke wins with uh, Kinsashka. Sure. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. I don't hey, know. Hey, you're lucky you can pronounce his name. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't for a long time, man. I didn't even know how. Shinsuke, I had to yeah. listen to people yes. say it. Shinsuke I didn't know how to Nakamura. It. Right. Got these names, I still don't. Because if you don't hear them, yep. I finally learn how to say uh, Gurb Shira. Yep. Because I heard it last yep. night. Yep. Right. <laughs> you know? Right. But it was a great match. Great way to open the show. The fans just absolutely love Nakamura, as you should. Mm -hmm. And if you still haven't seen Nakamura, why are you watching this show, then? Well, first of Honestly. all, if you haven't seen him, you shouldn't be anywhere near any professional wrestling at all. That's what I mean. Guy's unbelievable. He is a showstopper. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. I expect huge things on the big stage down the line, too. Mm -hmm. could, you could see him. He could actually be the first Japanese guy to headline a WrestleMania down Correct. the line. He really could yep. be. Correct. You know, because no Japanese guy ever has. No. Nope. So we'll see. Um, so William Regal then comes out and he announces that uh, Nakamura is going to take on the NXT champion, Samoa Joe, at the takeover in Brooklyn. But, of course, Joe was nowhere event. to be found. At the time, yeah. Joe's right. nowhere. But so he brings it up. The fans go crazy. Nakamura's Nakamura doing his thing. happy. Go to commercial. They come back. They got Billy Kay defeat Santana Garrett. Now, if you're into independent wrestling, then you should know this, that Santana oh. got in a lot of offense. Yep. But this show is booked anywhere but NXT. Right. <clears throat> Santana goes over. Are you kidding me? She's way you better. She's better believe that. Much better performer. Cut that other girl. Hey. I thought her moves were like really plain and really like there's nothing behind them. Yeah. Even her ring entrance was terrible. Yeah. You know, I've heard a lot about Santana. I've seen her on YouTube and other things like you know things like mm -hmm. that. But uh, what really sold me on her is I listened to the um, MLW podcast. Yep. You know, with Kurt Bauer yep. and. Uh, Used to be Conan, but he's off now. He went to Jericho's network. I don't yes. know if you know that, Bob. Yep. So now it's just Court Bauer and Mr. St. Laurent. Yep. Who runs a wrestling promotion down in Florida. Yep. And he uses Santana quite mm -hmm. a bit. A lot. And he loves her. He says she's unbelievable. And I believe him. So, Mr. St. Laurent, you are right, man. Santana Garrett is awesome. Yep. I'm going to tag you on Facebook, so maybe you'll listen to the show. Maybe you give me some feedback. 
love some. We would love it, you know. Uh, I really enjoy your podcast, too. You and Court did a great job. Um, so, yeah, so the match was really good. It lasted about seven, six, yeah. seven minutes. Yep. Um, and like I said, anywhere else, Garrett goes over. Oh, put her over in a minute. Know? But the match was good. Billy, I'm not saying Billy Kay's horrible or anything right. like that. I'm just saying that anywhere else, Santana is a better wrestler. Yes. So that's why the match was pretty yep. good. It was good. Yep. Another woman's good match, though, too. You know what I mean? Yes. Now you got girls that don't even have big names. You know what I mean? Bring like Santana them. does on the independent. Bringing them up. Yeah. Yes. Man, man, they're looking good in the yes. ring. Yes. Tessa Blanche, every time she's on the show. Yeah, they use her as a fall no, guy, No, they though, do, man. but she puts on a good match. She puts on a great show. You know? I can't wait to see her boyfriend eventually make it. You know he's going to yep. be in the next. Bl- Ricochet, man. Yep. A Prince Puma he's, for Lucha Underground. He's crazy. That kid is, talk about a lot of he's talent. He's nuts, man. man. I love that kid. And, you know, when I first saw him wrestle on YouTube and stuff, he was about 130 pounds. You see him now, though? Oh, yeah. He is jacked, Jack, dude. He looks like a, like back then, he didn't look like, he looked like a backyard wrestler. He looks wrestler. like a little Hernandez. Yeah, but he looked like a backyard back then when right. he first started. Because right. he was so small. Yep. Now, he looks like a professional wrestler. Like, yep. you see, like I always said that, you know, when you go to like um, some of these independent shows and you see Colt Cabana come out and you look at Colt and you go, now that, like my dad's not into wrestling, but he'd look at Colt and go, that's what I think a professional wrestler yep. looks like. You can literally say that about Ricochet. Yes, now. definitely. You know the match he had with Will Osprey that was all over wow. YouTube. I finally w- watched the whole thing. The great other day. match, unbelievable. Man. A lot great. of people saying spot fest, whatever. It is what it was, and it was great. Yeah, it, it was, was a great, great match. I think Better Will Osprey it. is awesome mm-hmm. too. I guarantee you, he'll be in the next. Good. One. Let, I, let's I, hope so. I can't see how they can deny that kid coming. Either one in, of them, you know. Oh, absolutely. I hope Ricochet just gets signed to NXT. Amen. Even if you don't put him in that thing, mm-hmm. I, I just can't wait till he gets called up. Next, we had a tag team match. Um, TM61. Yep. Look good again, mm-hmm. dude. These guys have been teaming for so long. They're like, they cut the ring off. You know, they just do everything right, man. Mm-hmm. This team is going to be really good. Definitely. Man. You know, I definitely think within a year, they'll be up on the good. main stage. because well, they, Let's hope so. They shouldn't be down there that long. I really don't think so. They're that good in the ring. Yeah. But they took on uh, Adrian Nails and Rob Risen. Now, Rob Risen has had quite a few matches mm-hmm. on NXT. Yep. So they, they definitely like this kid. Well, they're using him. Yeah. They, so it goes yeah. to show you that yeah. if they're using you more and more and more, that whether you're laying down for people or whatever you're doing, right. they like you. Yeah. They call it a showcase match just to show the, right. the winning tag. And it was a great match. Uh, TM, TM61 picked up the quick, quick win. It was quick. It wasn't yeah. a long match. About, about four minutes. Say, yeah, four or five minutes, right? Yeah, about quick. four minutes. Next out. Atmosphere in the building change, because here comes No Way Jose. Oh, my God. <laughs> and he defeats Steve Cutler, another guy mm-hmm. who's been used a lot. Yep. A Florida yes. independent. Correct. Big wrestler. Yep. I mean, seriously, he's got a big name mm-hmm. down in Florida. That's correct. Uh, he also, if I'm not mistaken, has wrestled for some of Mr. St. Laurent's shows. Yep. Um, th- it was a squash match, though. I know. And I, I don't understand that with a guy, when you have someone good like Cutler, you don't. There's no need for that. You should have you, you used somebody else for that. But then again, right. no way, Jose. I don't know how much experience he really has. I don't know anything about him. Yeah, me either. So maybe they used Cutler because right. he can, you know, yeah. make the moves look great. Right. That's probably the reason why. But uh, afterwards, Jose cut a promo about Austin Aries and says all he wants to do is bring the fun to NXT. Right. You know? Uh, and, and that at, Austin took advantage of him. And uh, when he turned his fiesta up, <laughs> Austin turned into a coward. Right. Now, we know Austin's not a coward. But we'll see what happens when these guys take, take each other on, most likely at the takeover. In you Brooklyn. know I love A-Double, man. You know, yeah, they're, they're definitely going to be meeting there because yeah. that's what they're building this up to. I love A-Double. And he will whoop Ari's ass is exact words. Right. So I, I'm looking forward to this. I think, uh, I think No Way Jose's not bad. Mm-hmm. I, I like the other guy better, though. Um, uh, Andre, yes, Cien. Yes. Oh, I yep. like him a lot, dude. He yep. wasn't on the show, but he's excellent, right? You know? But uh, so then um, they, they this was nice too. The WWE Cruiserweight Classic competitor Kota Ayabushi mm-hmm. defeated Murphy. Yes, yep, in a great match. That's the kid from China. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No, 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 no. Japan. He's from it was Japan. Japan. Yeah, he's from okay. Japan. Okay. And uh. He he received received hello he received a huge pop, yeah 
I hadn't been drinking today either. I swear to God, I'm serious. It's good water. Yeah. I, good water. There's been no alcohol yet. Good Maybe water. Maybe when I go home, Ooh. I just shoot a few shots of Dr. McGill Kelly. Doesn't make you a bad person. Absolutely not. And he won with the sit-out powerbomb. Yes. That he used in, yep. his, in his match on the Cruiserweight Classic Series. Um, it could have been and probably was like a dark match. I think it was like taped beforehand. Yeah, it was, yeah. The match was so yep. good. That they put it on TV. Yep, right. That's what I think. I'm not, no one's told me this. I'm just guessing. Yep. You know, because I, I, they haven't really used any of the other Cruiserweight classic no, guys no. on NXT, so I'm thinking maybe. Who right. knows? But next, you had said earlier, Samoa Joe is nowhere to be found. <laughs> well, All of a sudden, Joe decides he's going to come out for a promo. I love, I love his new interest oh, music, Me man. too. I, I just love Joe Perry, yeah. man. Yeah, I love his new and, music. Uh, he says that the NXT... Takeover match with Nakamura is not going to happen since William Regal didn't consult him on it. That's right. And I like that, you know. He cut a good promo on he, Regal, though. Yeah, he, he did. did. He cut he an did. unbelievable oh, yeah. promo. Well, Joe's, Joe's really good with the mic. He's on. He's, he's always, always been. Always been top notch. Always been. Uh, he had some really good promos in Ring of Honor when mm-hmm. he was a champ. But uh, So Regal comes out and says that his decision is final. And Joe, and Joe says, listen, I've had to jump through hoops to get this title, you know. Yep. And Regal says he needs, and, he, and that Regal needs to not disrespect him, and they need to discuss his opponents. Regal tells Joe that, listen, if you don't defend it, you'll have to forfeit the title. <laughs> Joe's just pretty angry yeah, at angry. this point. Yep. You know? Joe says he will hand Regal nothing, and that the match will happen, and it will be the biggest mistake of William Regal's life, as he is, if he sees Nakamura before takeover, he is going to take him out. <laughs> yep. So... Look for things like that to happen in the next couple of weeks of NXT. And take over again back in Brooklyn. Yeah. Which they sold out in like an hour. Let's say, why wouldn't you? Right. Exactly. Why wouldn't you oh, go yeah, back yeah. to that event? That building's really great for us. It wrestling. really is. The fans Perfect, go. and there's not a bad seat in the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. But, uh, so, but at the end there, Nakamura interrupts, and he just taunts Joe. He doesn't even yes, talk to him. Yeah. He's just, that's all that's this, this little. That's this crazy stuff. Yeah, the little is. stuff, how he you know, moves around yeah. and. And then uh, he's from the stage yes. as, as Regal's standing. And Regal's just looking at him like, what the hell is he doing? And Nakamura leaves, and Joe is left fuming, yep. steaming in the ring. As usual. Oh, yeah. Yep. Very pissed off as the show goes off the air. Well, Derek, we got to talk about this. Okay, buddy. Okay. The uh, Biff Busick. Yes. Chris Gerard, his real yep. name. Yep. He, um, his, his shoot name. His shoot name. Yep. Is now known as Oni. I know. I it's O N E Y. Yeah. Oni Lontran. Oh, come on. There it is. Lorcan. Oh. Oni Lorcan. What was wrong with Chris Gerard? Speaking of. What was wrong with Biff Busey? Have you seen his look lately? No. I'm sorry. This right. is my opinion. Right. My opinion. Yeah. It looks terrible. Why? Brother, you see what they did to him? No. He's very thin now. Yeah. Like, very thin. Yeah. And they uh, they totally cut his hair off. Yeah. Well, he had 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 hardly any hair. He had a haircut like you, dude, for the for right. the last couple of years. Right. Even. But now it's even shorter. Really. And his weight. I'm so not saying a bad thing. Yeah. But so he's me, lighter. A lot lighter. Okay. But to okay. me, the guy that you and I know. Yeah. Yeah. He's not that smashing your face wrestling. Not anymore. Wow. No. And when wow. I saw him, because I saw. It was a few weeks ago. He took on Ty Dillinger. Yes. Yeah, and I missed that, and I forgot to talk about it. Well, we weren't on the year. That's no, why we didn't talk no. about it. And I saw it, and I went, I saw this real pissed off guy across, the other, and I was like, wait you a minute. You didn't recognize him right away, huh? That's how much weight he lost. Yes. Wow. Especially for us. Right, right, right. So I went, wait a minute. I, Such a great I was guy literally too. in front of my computer anyway, because I'm watching yeah. NXT, yeah. and I clicked down, and I put the name in, and I went, so I was actually going to call you. Yeah. I'm uh, sorry, I was at home in Florida. Um, uh, that's all right. I, I couldn't believe it. Yeah. I, I did not recognize him. Wow. Because his look, I don't know if they're killing him in the ring or if he's doing it to, he, for a purpose. He might be doing it to just, maybe they said, maybe you should look, you know, maybe you should cut your weight because maybe he's going to be in the Cruiserweight Brother, Classic next he, year. And instead of trying to fight it a year from now, right, losing the weight, right. doing it now. Yep. Who knows? But I definitely expect big things from Oni Lorcan. Silly name or not, I'm still going to be cheering him on. Biff. And I know you are. Biff. I, I'm going to be a, I'm, I'm a huge Oni Lorcan fan right now already. Already? Forget already. 
yep, already. We, we already are. We got a couple minutes left. Let's go over the, the matches for the second round that we already know are going to happen okay. in the Cruiserweight Tournament. Yep. Uh, so we got Tajiri is going to take on Grand Metallic. Okay. That match ought to be good. Shoot through him. Drew Gulak is yep. going to take on Zack Sabre Jr. Now that match yep. is going to be so technical. It's going to be unbelievable. Um, then we got the Brian Kendrick yep. is going to be taking on a premier athlete, mm -hmm. Tony Nese. Yep. That match is going to be, be good. good, too. And uh, Cody Kota Ayabushi <laughs> is going to be taking on Cedric Alexander. Yep. That match. No, I, mean, I know we keep saying that. that wow. Though, seriously. You know. You know, Cedric Alexander just matches. is incredible. They're just right? great matches. And uh, so, <clears throat> TJ Perkins mm -hmm. has already advanced. He's going to take on the winner of Gargano and Chiampa. Ooh. So, I mean, these second-round mm. matches are already mm -hmm. unbelievable. And uh, Lince Dorado, yep. the Lynx mm -hmm. cat there, whatever, yep. is going to take on the winner of Rich Swan and Jason Lee, and it better be Rich Swan. I'm sorry, but it really. And nothing against you, Jason Lee, or anything, but I want to see Lince Dorado right. and Rich Swan go yep. at it. That match. This Cruiserweight Classic Series already is is really lived up to its billing. Seriously. Yeah. Yep. Even going back to the kid I told you about last week that I saw take on Tazawa. Yeah. That, that kid from Detroit, Kenneth Johnson. Yep. You know, he has a speech impediment. You know, to see him on a stage where, honestly and truthfully, people that trained him told him, you're probably never going to make right, it. Right, right, right. You're never going to make it anywhere. To see him make that mm -hmm. stage, man. And then, not only make it, but put on a match that was really good. That good, yeah. You know, yeah, against, definitely. Against a world-class opponent in Tozawa. Amen. You know? Amen. So, uh, like I said, Tajiri, Grand, Grand Metallic, that match is going to be outrageous. So, brother, we got about a buck left. Why don't yeah. you uh, we'll do some spots yeah. first? All right. Uh, listen, I do it all the time. I'll give you two quick ones. Uh, you need your car worked on? You can go down and see Rod Automotive. Rod's Automotive. Yep. My, uh, my ex-father-in-law, Rod McIntyre, he's down on uh, Canal Street. I don't have his number on me right now. I'm sorry. But, uh, yeah, go see Rod's Automotive. You want a haddock dinner, some food, go see Frank at Milano's at 1 Broad Street, 883-6610. Tell him Leo sent you. Part of a cigar group on Facebook. Here I am right here on Facebook. <laughs> Come check out Hoochley. It's a closed. If you like cigars, you love good people, check out Hoochley. Um, no. What? You don't, no, don't. Hey, don't ever do that. No. And it's uh, <laughs> great cigars. Good people. Uh, you want to learn about cigars? You want to learn about people? Let me tell you, these people are all great. Plus, I told them I'd put them over because I'm going to put it on their, on their uh, web. So, again, Hoochley. It's on Facebook. Hoochley. What I was going to say is, right, you know, he talks about Bro. cigars all the time. He yep. never brought me one. We never. Will. We will soon. All right? Brother, That's it, man. Let's get out of here, brother. Peace. The preceding program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters.